So let's imagine two layers of a fluid. The average velocity of the molecules in the bottom layer is small and in the x direction, while that of the molecules in the top layer is large and also in the x direction. We know that there are too many molecules in the fluid to consider all the molecules individually, so we need to model the fluid as a continuum. So if the velocity of the molecules in the bottom layer is Vx, and if the layers are separated by a distance delta y, then the velocity of the fluid in the top layer is Vx plus partial dVx by dy delta y. Through random molecular motion, molecules swap places, bump into each other, and exchange momentum. In the continuum model, we model this as a shear force between the two fluids. And if we divide this by the area between the two fluids, this gives us a shear stress tau. The rate of momentum exchange is proportional to dvx by dy. So the shear stress tau, which is the shear force divided by the area, is equal to a constant, which I will put in later, times partial dvx by dy, where this is the velocity gradient, also known as the strain rate, and the constant of proportionality is called the viscosity, mu. And all the physics of how momentum is exchanged by molecular transport is contained within the viscosity. So in gases, the viscosity tends to increase with temperature because the molecules collide into each other more quickly, while in liquids things are more complicated because the molecules in a liquid do not simply bounce off each other, instead they form temporary bonds with each other while they're close to each other, which enhance transfer of momentum. In fact, for water, it becomes more viscous as it gets colder. Now, in general, one must use partial derivatives here, because Vx is a field variable. It depends on x, y, and z in general. However, this collapses to an ordinary derivative if, and only if, Vx is only a function of y. This is an important point, because in the next sections, Vx will only be a function of y. For simple fluids, the rate at which momentum diffuses is proportional to the velocity gradient, just as the rate at which heat diffuses is proportional to the temperature gradient. These fluids are called Newtonian fluids, and examples include water and air. In more complex fluids, the shear stress does not vary linearly with the velocity gradient. These fluids can get thinner as the velocity gradients increase. These are known as shear thinning, and examples include blood and toothpaste. Toothpaste, for example, will happily stay on your toothbrush as a almost solid when it's not being sheared, but it flows like a liquid when you push it out of the tube. And then other fluids, often those containing suspended particles, can be shear thickening, and examples include quicksand and corn flour when mixed with water. And these get more viscous as they are sheared more rapidly because the particles in suspension jam up together and lock up.